This video briefly covers the new mixer brush, allowing you to realistically blend colors on canvas, and bristle tips, allowing you to use physically simulated brush tips with many of Photoshop's painting and retouching tools to easily give you beautifully textured strokes in Photoshop CS5 and Photoshop CS5 Extended. Starting with the mixer brush, a new tool in Photoshop CS5, and any photo or even a blank canvas, I can use this tool to blend colors around to give my images a painted effect. I'll start with the wet, heavy mix preset, which will simulate a wet canvas and a heavy or strong mix of colors picked up from canvas into my brush. I'll go ahead and paint over this tree area here, and you can see here that I very quickly, I'm realistically blending the colors together on the canvas. Alternatively, I can drop down this mix ratio so that I can introduce new colors into the canvas and the pickup of paint or mix into the brush is much lower. Here I have red in my brush and you can see that I'm introducing more red into my canvas, into my wet canvas and picking up some of the colors from the canvas colors as well. The icon in the upper left corner shows me what colors I have loaded in my brush. New in Photoshop CS5 is the ability to define multiple colors in your brush. I can come in here and Alt, click, and notice in that icon now, I've changed what I'm, colors I'm picking up and loading into my brush. I can use this loaded colors and also paint onto my canvas. I can also save these loaded colors as a preset. If I want to only load col solid colors using the Alt-Click method, I can come in here to the flyout and choose Load Solid Colors Only. By default for the mixer brush, this is turned off. In the Brush Preset panel on the right here, as well as in the Brush panel, you'll see new bristle tips that are available for many brush tools in Photoshop. If you have OpenGL enabled, in the upper left corner, you'll see a 3D rendering of your brush, helping you to visualize what your brush looks like, as well as the amount of pressure that you're applying with your tool. In the brush panel, I can come in here and change the shape, as well as different properties here. This is bristle density that I'm adjusting. I can adjust the length, the thickness, the stiffness, as well as the angle. You can see how easily I can get real textured strokes when painting or retouching images now. Using the t these tips in conjunction with Photoshop painting tools, including the new mixer brush, you can obtain very beautiful painted results. Here are some other examples from what our pre-release testers have painted. Anyone, regardless of painting skills, can use these tips with the mixer brush or other brush tools to explore totally new painting and retouching capabilities, all within Photoshop CS5.